Morning, Noon and Night is a Betty Boop cartoon from 1933. It's directed by Dave Fleischer and Dave Tendler. And we have a cast including David Rubinoff and Bonnie Poe as the voice of Betty Boop. And it actually starts off with a live action clip of Rubinoff playing music. I don't know too much about his music or the orchestra involved here, but certainly it was an interesting way to to start things off. And then the main narrative... It's okay. I I kind of liked some bits of it, and some bits of it seemed a little bit slow and just a little bit dull. The animation, however, is gorgeous. We have this beautiful outdoor scenery with hills in the backgrounds and really great attention to detail in, in the foregrounds, and that's always really beautiful. And the characters look brilliant. The character designs are great. For me, it was just the narrative was a bit slow and Betty Boop wasn't in it as much as I'd like. It's about these cats who are driving in their car, chasing after these birds. And Betty Boop is trying to save these birds, particularly this adorable little bird from these cats. And as much as I love cats, these do look like quite large, menacing cats. And they have brilliant design, brilliant facial expressions. But I am actually on the side of the birds with this one, which is unusual for me. And we basically have a fight between the characters and a chase to try and save this bird. And Betty Boop is in this. She's in it enough that I think it's fair to call it a Betty Boop cartoon. It's not one of those where they plop her in for a second to use her name and then she disappears. But there are definitely too many moments without her for my liking. But when she was in it, she was very, very good. I have no complaints there. It just maybe wasn't as much as I would have liked. But I do feel like it just became quite repetitive. The whole thing is about six or seven minutes. And I'd say from about the halfway mark until towards the end, I wasn't really enjoying it as much. It's not that there's anything specifically bad about it. It's it's definitely not badly animated. And the narrative makes sense. Everything that's happening... I believed the character's actions. There wasn't anything specifically wrong with it. I just feel like it lost the appeal for me at one point, roughly around about halfway. I didn't I didn't check the time when I started to lose interest, but it took a bit. But once we got there, I feel like I was ready for it to wrap up. And then I didn't mind the last kind of 30 seconds or so. So did I enjoy it? I enjoyed the visuals. I think that the setting is nice, the location is gorgeous, the character designs are really good, absolutely no issues there. The narrative is a decent enough idea, but the execution is slow. It's a little bit slow. To begin with, it was okay. Slowed down a bit, picked up towards the end. So it's not perfect, needless to say. But that being said, I came away from it, I guess, feeling relatively happy with it. It's never going to be my favourite Betty Boop cartoon. But if you're a fan of Betty Boop and you haven't seen it, then I'd say give Morning, Noon and Night a go. It's not perfect, but as a one-time watch, it's, it's pretty good.